Hey guys, it's Vino. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we did a thing with minecarts and stuff, and in this part, I'm recording the audio and post. Get out of the way! The only way we can make ends meet here now is by clutching junk. Yeah. Oh, buying stuff. Anyway, yeah, for some odd reason, when I ended this recording session, uh. For some reason, the X3 wouldn't like finish it, so I was just like, okay, I'll wait on it. About an hour later, it was still like recording, even though while well, it was finishing up, uh, I'm clearing some stuff in my inventory. More so, I was clearing some stuff. I have no clue now, but um, so yeah, so I decided to just kill the, the X3, and apparently, it didn't save, uh, or it corrupted itself, and fortunately, I was able to. Uh, recover the video and the game audio, but not my commentary. And in that circumstance, I decided to just re record the commentary rather than trying to re record my gameplay. I, th I think about here, I was wondering why the <laughs> inventory was so large. I was just like, seriously, am I gonna hit an end limit on that? And I was just checking the material. Uh, if you're gonna survive me, you're gonna need some of my weapons. And then he's gonna sell stuff for Malta, that's interesting. But, uh, the carbon bangle definitely it seems to increase the defense of everyone, but, uh, we'll do that later. Uh, we'll buy stuff from this guy as well. So, yeah, so I unfortunately do know what's gonna happen in this episode, but I'm not gonna spoil it or anything, because we'll just go along as if. as if I don't know. I'm gonna listen to your story now. Take that road on the left to the ropeway station. The ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. Don't mean much to us poor folks, though. Okay. Well, okay, so we'll go around and stuff. I hear it's a big fat now, and so you can get tattoos, is that right? Oh no. Really? I saw a big one on the arm of a young guy heading towards the roadway. Back, okay, blah blah, these real arms is really cool. <laughs> See, the problem is I'm gonna mess up lines, and then it's gonna go like out of. Honestly. Yay, what do you wanna play? Okay. How am I supposed to continue living until I had lost everything? Hell with the Mega Reactor. What about that guy at the back? Because of them. Ugh, my husband got into the accident. He used to be such a strong man. You got a very deep voice there. If I do say so myself. So yeah. Uh, Gold Saucer. Gold Saucer. I guess we'll go there. Not really much of a Gold Saucer. I guess there's yellow there. What you doing? Barry, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. I had to go burn just four years. But how could those people say so, those terrible things? It's my fault. All my fault. Flashback. To the early times of 1996. My hometown, Coral Spino, will always been a mining town. Coal mining town, to be exact. Maybe dusty and poor, but it's calm. It's a real small town. That's the first time I ever heard Maker React mentioned since then. Okay, sure. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is dying. I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you think you've thrown away our coal. Coal's been ours for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, guy, no one uses coal nowadays. It's a sign of the times. Right, everything is maker now. You'll be right, all right, Don. Shinra Inc. will guarantee your life here once the make reactor is completed. Listen, guy, I don't want my wife Miranda, to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Don, you gotta understand. <laughs> Dang it. The Jell Coral Reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easy life. Oh, they all died. The end. It happened with Guy and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the shooting troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. 
Shinra troops, what for? There was an explosion in the reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why, that's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Myrna, too. Hey everyone, if you want to go to the Gold Souls, hurry and get on. Okay. Let's get on. Well, that was an interesting backstory. Diane was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. Alright, sure. I never knew Barrett never said such a thing. Better go on. Okay. It's a propeller car. Whoa! It's got the rails, like it's got the ground. Oh, I guess it doesn't have the rails anymore. This is kind of cool. Although it's got like Final Fantasy VI guy going on, you know? So this is apparently the gold saucer. It's gold, and it's in the sky. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Totally, yeah. Look at all them flashy lights in this pre-rendered video. Wouldn't you want to have your own pre-rendered lights? Welcome, Gold Saucer. The source is made out of gold. Also, look at it being so artsy like this. And it's just like, oh. That welcome. So because this is pre-recorded, I'm actually going to say there's a lot of really awkward stuff going on in this part. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil, or you can purchase a lifetime one for 30,000. Okay. So I was just like, ah, stuff you, I'm going home. But then I was just like, you know, this is probably the way to go, and I may as well go in here. But first, we save. <laughs> and also, you have to pay for the save. So I was just like, eh, stuff it, if there's, a, if there's a problem with the recording, I'll just go back all the way. Well, guess what, that was a problem with the recording. So anyway, yeah, so, you leave Gold Source and the tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Source, there are many places which you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can only use at the Gold Source. GP can only be redeemed at the games in one square and at the Chocobo races. Your GP limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please, enjoy your yourselves. Okay, so, here's the gold saucer. I was completely lost when I like, went in. I was just like, dude, there's all this stuff. I'm gonna have so much fun. Wow, what's that fun? Or at least, yeah. Hey, Barrett, cheer up. Hey, cheery moose, just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go! Of course! We're gonna go play! So play! Mess around all you want! Don't forget we're after Sephiroth! Whee! I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better. Okay! So anyway, so... I want to go with me. You can like get your party together. Except you can only have like one dude with you. So I was just like stuff at Red 13 is awesome. And I was just like maybe I should bring Eris. Because I haven't brought Eris to like anything. Also she's like so happy. And then yeah, so which way do we go, I guess? I guess we go check the info board. That'd be good. I, nope, um, I didn't check it. <laughs> so I went in here. I was just like, what? What is this? Sorry, but there's no show now. Okay. Well, that was a brilliant place. <laughs> what about here? Look at 
at this man, he's so strong. Hey, boy. Boy. How is it? You having fun? Mmm, so you are having fun. Well, good, good for you, boy. My name's Cloud, stop calling me, boy. Mm, me? I'm the owner of the Dollar Sosa. My name's Dio, just call me Dio. By the way, boy, do you know what a black material is? Where is it? <laughs> I say, that's a good one, boy. But it's not good to lie. You can't fool me. Why'd you ask me? Well, a while back, a boy your age came in and asked me if I had a black material. I thought you might know who it was, seeing as you're both about the same age. Do you have a black for black kid? Well, yes, yes, indeed. And a tattoo on his hand that said one. Where did he go? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, then. And then he's just kind of on his business. I say, stop by the battle arena if you like, boy. You'll probably like it. Many of the, my collections are there. Or something. Uh, <laughs> I, ju I, re I just realized how fast I read through the text. I was gonna memorize the order it comes out and then guess on the attacks. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful of those steps. What? A lot of things. Hey, I finally got 5,000 points. Wow, you're so wonderful. Man, I finally got a prize. So, apparently, like, there's all these pathways to different areas. I went to this one, I was just like, what the? Chocobo. So, Chocobo Racing! So this is... Apparently, this place is like a mini-game hub. Please explain to me what Chocobo is like. This Chocobo race is running on virtual course. The natural scenery you see in this race doesn't really exist. You'll pick which Chocobo to which will finish first and second year, and then buy the appropriate tickets. If the ticket you purchase is a winner, you'll receive a ticket for an item that blah blah blah. You can exchange your tickets for items to GP, blah blah blah. So, yeah. Registration fees at 200. Then the rank. So I'll just say, okay. So then I just sat here, just going like, what is going on? Because when you just get like given like a fancy interface, you were just like, what? So basically, you got these 15 cards here, and I kind of did not know what was going on. Because then you press page up and page down, or right buttons in my case, and it would switch between the different number of chocobo. There were six in the race. And I was thinking like, is that a hyphen or a dot or what in the cards? So it comes up with stats, telling you their, stops, their top speed and their stamina. And you have to kind of guess which ones, which ones win. And I was wondering like what these are, what happens with that, and how come your guild goes down by a hundred each one you select, and then you unselect it. So basically, I just kind of spent like the long time wondering what this is, but I'm going to explain it based on what I've actually learned from doing this before. You're supposed to choose... Each card represents a pair of chocobos. So for example, like the top right one is selecting chocobo 1 and 6. Okay? And the one in the very middle selects 2 and 5. You get, you have to decide which two chocobos come in first and second place, and you get three chances per race. So that's, each chance costs a hundred gil, and basically you win the grand prize if you guess the right one. I only guessed one, and I thought I was doing okay, but then I didn't really realize what I was even looking for. But can I just say, this is actually like really cool. I mean, it looks ridiculously PlayStation. You can see the PlayStation just reeking off of this. But... Like, it looks alright. And the chocobos just run around and stuff, and it's so cool. Look how cool the chocobos are. Look at them go. This is technically count as a single shot camera, because the camera keeps, like, snapping to places. You see it, like, move between stuff. Anyway, go, 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 go! So, the numbers here tell you which one, which chocobos they are. And you want the first and second. And I thought I won, because six won, and I remember voting for six. Also. But then I actually realized I voted for one and two. And suddenly, just then, I realized what happened. Now, each card, by the way, actually has a certain prize under it. I lost. 
I wasn't going to give up this easy on it, by the way. I was really confused. So I decided to ask around a for a couple of people to see, like, what exactly I had to do. This person is a prize exchange. I think I have to win prizes first. What's so fun about the Chocobo Expedition? Hmm, fun I want you. Okay. I, I guess I read through that way too quick. Uh, but, um... So basically, yeah, so... If you win, the, the winning card has a certain prize under it, and that's the prize you get. So you can either get a Hyper, which I think is a Materia, Turbo Ether, or a Mega Elixir. All three of those, I think, are pretty good. I'd say the Turbo Ether and the Mega Elixir are items I've never seen, and I guess the Hyper is pretty good. Um, so I think I figured it out this time, but I just, like, I don't even know. <laughs> So I decided to go for, like, I'll just bet for as many as I want. Because I didn't even know, like, what these represented. I, I didn't, I thought they were, like, voting for a certain chocobo to appear in a certain place. I was just like, how they said that? Because I could just look at a different chocobo. Then, like, way after I left, and even, like, after I stopped, like, caring, I was just like, oh, it, it's the position. So yeah. Again, I still have no clue who I just voted for. <laughs> Brilliant me. This is, this race course is kind of cool, I'll say. Also, this one, it's not as tight competition this time. It's like someone is really winning. And then he just slowed down. The other one slowed down too. It's catching up. It's like, look, there's a huge gap between first, second, and then all the other four. But yeah, so I don't think you have any influence on this, but at least you have like a way to try and get the right one. Yahoo! Oh my gosh. So, um... Running Chocobo! E3 is pretty soon, it's right around the corner. I'm excited for a couple of, for a few things in it. Um, I recently bought Watch Dogs and I was thoroughly disappointed. Because after all that hype, it doesn't work well on my PC. And it's not because of bad hardware, it's just kind of because... I... I haven't seen anyone try using a GDX 580 with it. Also, the purple one's going whoosh! Straight into the camera. Um... Oh, snap! And the white one claims victory! Look at him happy. So happy. And then I was just like, oh, what are we waiting for? And we're apparently waiting for the other two guys coming. Um... But yeah, like, Watch Dogs ridiculously overhyped, and it doesn't work. Even after like a few patches, it doesn't work well on my system, it just stutters way too much. And I got really angry about that, because I was just like, dude, this is a brand new game, and I even fall within the, the specs, it doesn't even work, and then I was just like, how do I end up back here? So I decided to try and check out all the other stuff here. So Watch Dogs doesn't work, I wouldn't get it. And I was just like, wait, what's over in this direction? And then I was just like, wait, that's the out door? I don't even know. Oh. So, yeah. So, I think this is a place you could probably go to later in the game. This attraction is 3 GP. Too bad I don't have any GP. G-I-P. And then I went in here, and it was all spooky, scary skeletons. Okay, thank you for the ghost hood, and for reservations, please step up to the counter. How do I read this so fast? But that's kind of spooky. Felix. Ah! It's our most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. Welcome! And the weird thing is that they're costing GP, not Gil. 
So... It's expensive being in this place. You gotta pay 3,000 gil for the first time you come... Uh, for the first time you come out, or 30,000 for, like, the entire game pass. And the problem is, I only had about 18,000 on me. Which meant that, like, I would have happily taken, like, the 30,000 one. But I went here, and this guy was just like, I'm sorry, we're currently renovating. And I'm just like, jeez, why are there two places renovating? Dude, imagine if you got to, like, Disneyland, and just like, oh, sorry, uh, Space Mountain's down, uh, Thunder Mountain's down, uh, we're just fixing that. How about it? Want me to read your fortune? Right, future, happy future. Oh, but it doesn't come true. So don't hold up against me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a fortune telling machine. The name is. And then I was just like, wait, I can name this person? It's called Kate Sith. You can only read the future. You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here it goes! So I was like, what's going on with this thing? Which one's talking, the top or the bottom? Ordinary lock will be an act of fortune. Garrett and the good of other will of others. Something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Huh? Let me try again. There'll be an awesome dance going on there. Seriously. Look at that dance. Careful for preparing for this. Lucky color, it's blue. Forget it. Wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. What the? What? What did you consume will be yours? You lose something to you. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's the first time I've ever gotten something like this. And shall we? What are you talking about? Being a fortune teller, this is gonna bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, I'll never be able to relax. So I'm going with you. What are we gonna do, Cloud? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Hey. And then I was just like, wait a minute. They probably told you at the entrance, most of the attractions of the gold sorcerer will take GP. They don't sell GP, you can only get them with the one square against the chocobo races. Oh jeez, I read this out so quick. So I was just like, wait. Man, this guy just joined our party? So, yeah, apparently this guy does join that party. I, I was waiting for myself to, like, go to the inventory, but apparently not. This is apparently the Wonder Square. You had zero GP. Exchange your GP for prizes. You have zero GP. Exchange your GP for prizes. So I decided to look at what was this. I don't know what a gold ticket is. Turbo Ether you can get from the Chocobo Racing. I think it's worth that. So one game for 100 gil. Now this causes guilt, so I was just like, okay, so I'll just go against the sumo wrestler. And then, okay, so I just spam the A button. And I was spamming it so hard here. And I lost. I was just like, stuff that, I'm not gonna win that ever again. Sure do need a lot of money, yeah? I was just like, wait, that's super dunk. I wanna try that. Basketball game. All down, okay, there's straight. So I was just like, okay, this doesn't seem too odd. Oh, crap. Let's do it again! It was my goal to suddenly beat this. So I found out what was too much and too little. I don't feel like ever doing this ever again. In Looking at it from post. But holy crap, I oh, know. Uh, like, these games just look like they're about to rig you out of all your money, similar to how, like, an actual arcade does it. But seriously, they designed their games, like, to be so hard so that they didn't have to make them that long. People would buy their kind of expensive machines, and then they didn't have to, you know, do the whole. Uh. Or they, they then just had self-supplying games. Didn't need people set up or anything. So, I think I kind of just gave up from this point. Oh, I guess I'll try one more. I love how the ball just kind of jumps in your hand. I basically just over and over found what's too small, what's too large, and can't get anywhere in between. So I was just like, dude, I want to go on the bike. 
Oh, I'll go on the submarine ship. Whew, I'm tired. Oh, this all oh, seems to be out of order. And then this is the weirdest one, Mog House. Okay, you ready for this? This is Mog's house. It's a Mogverse on Mount Mog. The beginning of another day in the life of a Mog. This year, Mog is pretty pretty old years old. That's 28 human years. He's at the age when he should be looking for a mate. 28? Really? But before Mog can become an adult, he first needs to learn how to fly. I was just like, there's a lot of... There's a lot of story going on in this arcade game, you know? Oh, just jumps off the tree. By pushing OK and feeding him his favorite Cooper or not. But don't overfeed him, he won't be able to fly if he's too fat. So I was wondering, like, what's going on here? I was thinking, okay, so you give him, like, so many Koopa Nuts. And then he sounds full, like, straight away. So I'm just like, oh, what's going on? He's getting fat by the minute. So I was just like, okay, three. Three nuts. That's enough. And then I just kind of sat here. Because they give you about, like, a minute to do this, and they don't really tell you what to do. There's no skip or button or anything. You just kind of wait here until it feels like it. So I chucked one more just in case. <laughs> I don't know if he sounds hungry or he's fat that he's full. So here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, it seems like Monster decided to take another shot at it. Shot at it. Here it goes. Success! Unfortunately, I didn't make it. Poor Mog will have to wait some time for a bride. And it's so sad! And I was just like, heck no, am I renewing that? And then I accidentally pressed start, trying to skip it. So I don't even know, like, what I did next. I think I just spammed the nuts. Because I wanted to know whether f overfeeding him was worth it or not. Is there a different sound for when you get to, like, not hungry? And there you go. Apparently it does, like, get kind of happy. So I was just like, okay, so he was patting his belly. So he must have been, like, pretty full by, by then. I didn't want to overdo it. Never overdo it. So here he goes. Here he goes. It seems like he's decided to take another shot at it. Here it goes. Here it goes. And I had absolutely no clue how to do this game. So I quit. Straight away. Didn't even try. Honestly, that is a weird game, and especially for an arcade kind of game, just sitting there. Poor Marks, it seems he'll be alone for some while. It's sad. <laughs> this person's in shock. Ooh, Crystal Fortune. Also, G-Bike, are you ready for this? I haven't seen this before, are you ready for it? <laughs> What's really weird is how it's you. It's the exact same thing as before, except there's now a bit of a non-screen element telling you a score. And apparently you lose points for them hitting the car. And you gain points for hitting them. So I kind of got the hang of it after a while. I was just kind of going like, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, punch him in the face. But I realize like how many points you lose just by them bumping into it. See look, I'm back down to like 1700 after like smacking all those guys out. I was on like 650 for a moment. And then look at that, they're just all bumping into him and suddenly I'm just losing all these points. I'm like almost losing as many points and look at me, I'm trying to hit him and it's not working at all. Oh 
unfortunately I found out that also they can actually trip on each other. If one's like dead and they're sliding, you can actually get them to trip on each other like that. Look at that one guy. There he goes. Whoosh! And again, like, along with the truck bar races, this is actually like a really nice game kind of thing that's going on. Oh, get him. You know what the worst part is? Not only did Final Fantasy VIII come up on Steam, Final Fantasy III is in like the... The DS port, or the DS remake of it. I guess it's a port because all the gameplay is the same, it's just visual. Um, like that essentially just got on Steam. Goal! Which means that if I were to ever play more Final Fantasy games, which honestly, let's make it rare occurrence now, I this game is gonna take a long time. I think I started this last year. And I think just my laziness and trying to edit videos and also just problems with trying to do it. And currently now it's June. And I'm um, just like, what? 3D Battler. So this is the last game that's currently just like sitting here. I was just like, okay, so it's like scissors, paper, rock. So I was just like, okay, when is he gonna attack? I guess I'll attack first. Oh, I was trying to figure out which buttons did what. And apparently, it is basically scissors, paper, rock. There's no, like, skill to it. You're just going to hit them, and they're gonna... hit you. And you just have to kind of be lucky that you keep hitting them in, in, the, in a row. Apparently, it's also first to get hit ten times loses. And it just keeps going, so I was just like, okay. Oh sweet, I beat my first opponent. Yeah. I'm the best. And uh, here comes this big guy, Tubba Blubber over here. Keep going. Just, just attack him. So I tried to like alternate, kind of switch up a little bit. Kept getting hit a bit in a row. We got in this awkward phase where we kept blocking each other. I got hit like so many times here. And then you're ready for the most epic comeback. Bam! 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 This comeback cannot be duplicated. How many times did I get hit there? I don't even know. And then comes this guy. I don't even know. So, it's 2 1, 2 2, 2 3. 2, 4, 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9. And literally, I was one hit away from beating him. And I lost. You know what? After that, I got 3 GP. There are prizes that cost hundreds. Of GP. Can't even talk to that guy. I don't even know like, what that guy's doing there. There are prizes that cost hundreds of GP, and I just got three of them out of all of that. So I was just like, what else is there? Round. Okay. No, I already went there. So what else left was there? I think I. Decided to You may have seen the chime just jump there. I think I believe I actually like waited for like a minute because I had to go just go somewhere mid recording. But then I saw like Kate Sith. Apparently there's a dude, he's level 18 and he's got a yellow a yellow M phone as his weapon. I, I haven't tried him in battle, I don't think, so I'm not on like how good he is, but I was just like, you know, I'll give him the, uh, talisman. Give him the 
manipulate and transform. And then he's got like tons of slots for more material, but I've only got the old material. So that. So where else did I go? I went uh, here. And I was just like, wait, I've already gone there. So I went to the battle place. And then. It's open. <gasps> oh, snap. It's not open in the same sense. Dead. What? Why? Cloud, where are you going? Oh, he jumps. It's a jumper. Did Sephiroth do this? <sighs> no, it's not him. No shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Uh, uh. Hey, what happened? Uh, a man with a gun on his arm. He can't be. Hold it right there and stay quiet. Did you guys do this? No, no, it wasn't us. I must have been wrong. Hurry and run, it's gonna get ugly. Hey, stop them. And then, like, we run into here, I'm like, oh, snap the dapper. You can't get me here, I'm on the Super Mario Galaxy goop. That's as far as you go. Wait, listen there. Cloud! Oh, snap. Oh, triple snap. So... One more to go. Yes. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. Yes. Ah. You alright? Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. A desert prison? Yep. A natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard once you get in, you'll never get out. But there was one special exception. Hey, Barrett! Barrett, did you? Stay back. This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Ooh, that's one of your friends. He sure looks dangerous. Cloud, what should we do? Barrett's not his normal self. So I was just like, oh, jeez, what's going on? This one's been shot too. So... And then there's wild encounters. Because it's not too area unless if there's wild encounters. And I completely just, just like, eh. Oh my god, a limp break. And then I was just like, mini manip... Do that. Cross slash is effective, so that's a good thing. So I was just like, okay, what's going on there? Can't manipulate him. Dude, that dance is so happy. Two-faced A! It doesn't have a ton of health, but it's got, like, MP. So I was just like, what does Mini do on it? And I was just like, okay, so how much better is that? Didn't really increase the damage. But it self-destructs, and it literally does, like, tons of damage. Um, and then I was just like, you know, Kite Sif actually has, like, a pretty decent, like, health pool. So, yeah, so... Then I checked out my magic. So I could cure Kite Sif. What's this guy have to say? Whoa, welcome to Coral Prison! <laughs> Why is he so happy about it? So I guess we're supposed to follow Barrett. But alas, the floating thing does not want us to. And I was just like, well, I'm not in those things. The back. Stop, let's blow him up. So what was Kate's limit break, you may ask? None other than Ultimate Star High Potion. Jerk. 
then I go in Jeepers. Jeepers. I rolled an 8! So therefore 800 damage is dead. Yes! That is actually like a really nice limit break. And I feel like that kind of is Kate's personality. It's just all about like the fluff and fortune. Also, that guy is so my high potion. Yeah. So yeah. So Kate is a bit of a lower level, but you know, he's not like too low level. And I was just like, what's going on? This guy's following me all of a sudden. I'll tell you one thing, Rookie, this desert is extremely dangerous. I'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave it, it'll swallow ya. He has someone and he'll make it out. The best thing is to stay out of the desert entirely. So, yeah, so I decided to save up because this episode has grown with me going on for like 40 minutes. Anyway, I guess with that, thank you guys for watching. Sorry about the error in the video, but we won't have it again, probably. Anyway, see you guys next time.